coming from similar backgrounds in terms of combat sports. Yeah, 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 but this is this is new to you. This is a new venture. Can you kind of walk us through how this came about and how you even ended up in the WWE in the first place? I can, yes. Yeah. Well, I've been uh, interested in making appearance in WWE for a number of years. But due to my boxing commitments, never really had the opportunity to do so um, up until recently. And after my last fight with a cut, um, I, the opportunity arose again to be able to come into WWE. And I said, yes, this is what I want to do. And um, that's how I ended up doing the fight. So in a similar question I did ask to Kane, this is outside your comfort zone. You've been doing the same thing for decades now, in a, in, a, in a good way. You've been very successful at it, but as you take kind of this new venture in an event like Crown Jewel, what's your nerve level, what's your anticipation as you head into this? I am so excited, you know, I trained as a boxer my whole life. I've got five brothers, all big guys. We're always wrestling, always. No time limit, sometimes for an hour, two hours. Um, smashing each other to bits. So I'm looking forward to this. You know, Bron's a massive guy. I'm a massive guy. I'm a very athletic guy, a quick learner. So you know, really looking forward to a great fight now against a fellow mammoth. Well, there you go. You said it. You're a big guy. Uh, I do a show on Saturdays on Sirius with another big guy, world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Now you debuted on Fox, or you made your appearance on Fox last week, seven days ago. Mark didn't like your suit. He was trashing your suits. Said yeah. they were too flashy. Said they they weren't stylish. I kind of digress. I actually like your style. Can you can you yeah, tell Mark that he's wrong? Uh, Mark don't like the suit because he's jealous and he could never pull it off. There's only one man can wear suits like this, and it's Tyson Fury, aka the Gypsy King, bare chested as well. By his hair. Tyson, is there any sort of smirk knowing that Joshua is going to go to Saudi Arabia as this sort of new branch out into the Middle East, and you're going to beat him to it? Everything that it, they ever do, I always do first. So it's nothing new to me. But this is not a competition. This is about me enjoying my life and, and enjoying the moments that I rise each time. Uh, obviously, I'm sure you've been asked about it probably every day since. How is the cut? Is there any worries that this could affect it? The cut's fantastic. Um, my manager's worried, my promoter's worried, my trainer's worried, my family are worried. Everybody's worried about this cut. But I'm a fighting man. It's what I've been born and bred to do. What difference does it make if I've got a cut? There's going to be blood, snot and tears all over the ring in every fight we do. When a fight happens, there's always a risk of cuts, injuries, damage, whatever. And I'm willing to take that risk. Is Wilder still the plan in February or do you think that's going to be too soon? Well, at the moment, I have a big bearded guy over there to worry about. Not Deontay Wilder. Braun Strowman is my biggest rival to date. Do you remember in 2015, you used to call out Cain Velasquez quite a bit as well? Yes. Have you guys managed to maybe squash that beef today? Um, listen, who, who knows what can happen in the future? When Cain was the, the UFC heavyweight champion and I was heavyweight champion of the world, I offered to fight him in a stand-up fight. There was a bit of back and forth between us. So, you know, now we're uh, both joining the WWE. Who knows, uh, a future match may arise between me and him as well. I'm not sure if you're going to be aware of this, but back in 1999, the WWE held this tournament called Raw for Raw, where they had wrestlers actually box. The winner of that tournament boxed Butterbean and he lost Butterbean. If you trace the Brawl for All Championship, you are the lineal Brawl for All Champion. So not only have you done that in boxing, you already did it in WWE before you even got there. Is that right? Yeah. I saw something like this on Twitter recently. Yeah, the, the, the guy, he lost to Butterbean. Butterbean lost to Holmes. Holmes lost to Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson lost to Holyfield. Holyfield lost to Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis then retired. Vladimir Klitschko was made the, the new lineal heavyweight champion after eight or nine title defences. The Gypsy King beat Vladimir Klitschko in 2015. And here we are, still lineal heavyweight champion of the world and lineal wrestling heavyweight champion of the world too. Say no more. <laughs> Boom, <laughs> mic drop. <laughs> This fight's going to help your boxing career. This fight has got nothing to do with boxing and my boxing career. This is a WWE matchup between two mammoth heavyweights. You know, you've got the, the baddest heavyweight on the planet over there and the best heavyweight on the planet in my sport. It's where sports collide. This is this is the biggest fight. But you're going to reach different fans. Different yeah, listen, it's going to be amazing and I'm really excited for the experience. So you're going to Yep. So what would you say that a lot of fans might be worried that this might be distracting you from preparation of boxing? What would you say that this you know, might be... At the minute, I'm not preparing for any boxing fights. I'm only preparing for Braun Strowman in, in, a, in a massive fight in Saudi Arabia. Um, as far as I'm concerned for my career, this is the biggest thing that I could be doing right now. Bigger than, bigger than boxing, bigger than anything. I can't participate in a boxing fight at the minute because of the cut. needs time to heal, but I can participate in a, in a massive WWE wrestling fight. You spoke Jeez, about your mental health before. Is this just to make you happy? Is that at the crux of this? This is what this is about. This for me is 
this is a new chapter, you know, a new Tyson Fury, a new chapter in my life. And not only am I making myself happy for getting involved in something that I've watched for a long time and been a fan of, um, this is making my kids happy. They're massive WWE fans. They're massive Braun Strowman fans. Massive Brock Lesnar fans. If you go and ask my eight-year-old son who can win in the fight, oh, your dad or Braun Strowman or your dad and Brock Lesnar, dad gets killed every, every single answer. So, you know... Thank you very much.